You know how sometimes you hear about something that sounds, well, almost like science fiction, uh -huh. but they could actually like change everything. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting around China's latest announcement. You mean the Xinhua reactor, the spark? Exactly. The world's first fusion fission hybrid reactor. And they're saying, what, up and running by 2030? Yeah, it's it's incredibly ambitious. It's not just small thubs we're talking about here. No, it feels like a potential leap, doesn't it? Yeah. A whole new way of looking at energy. Absolutely. And what's striking, based on what we're seeing from places like Sustainability Times and other outlets, is how serious China seems to be about making this happen. Right. It feels like a potential shortcut to a different kind of energy future. It really could be. And for anyone listening, this is, well, it's the chance to get your head around a technology that might be shaping our world sooner than we think. Okay, so that's exactly why we're doing this deep dive today. We want to unpack what this Xinhua reactor actually is, mm -hmm. why it's causing such a stir, mm -hmm. and, you know, what it might mean down the road. Good plan. So let's start right there. What exactly is this spark? Okay, so in simple terms, it's a reactor design that merges two fundamental nuclear processes. Fusion and fission. Right. Fusion and fission. Most people have heard of them, but maybe a quick refresher. Sure. Fusion, uh, that's smashing light atoms together like hydrogen isotopes. Mm -hmm. It releases enormous energy. It's what powers stars, basically. Like the sun. Got it. And fission is the opposite, splitting heavy atoms like uranium. That's how our current nuclear power plants work. Okay. Jingwo aims to use both together in one system kind of best of both worlds idea. And the thing that's really grabbing headlines is this energy gain factor target, the Q value. They're saying above 30. Yes, and that number, Q over 30, is why people are really paying attention. Okay, for those of us not deep in nuclear physics, why is 30 such a huge number? What's the context here? Well, think of Q as like energy efficiency. How much energy do you get out compared to what you need to put in just to make the reaction happen? Okay, input versus output. Exactly. And aiming for a Q over 30 is, well, it's massive. Let's compare. ITER, the big international fusion project. Yeah. Their goal is a Q above 10, which is already a huge step for pure fusion. Right. And remember that breakthrough at the U.S. National Ignition Facility back in 2022? Vaguely, yeah. That was a big deal, too. It was. But they achieved a Q of about 1.5. So mm. jumping to a target of 30, it's not just a bit better. It suggests a potential for practical, efficient power generation that's uh, really different. Wow. Okay. 